All right, next up we're going to char a guitar top. This is a couple practice pieces that I had. This is some quilted maple, really highly figured quilted maple, an end that I had. And then this is some flame maple, a little bit of a thinner piece, so the wood distorts. Tested this out a couple different ways, and you need some basic tools. You need a propane torch, and I've got some propane fuel here. And pretty simple technique. All you do is light the torch, take it out to the guitar body, outside somewhere safe, obviously. This is actually outside in 20 degree weather. And you slowly go back and forth here, heating up the top. The top will light on fire a couple of times. You don't want it to light too long or it actually chars really bad. You just kind of want to highlight the figure. This piece of wood isn't that great. The ends have some green and it's cracking. And so what I want to do is just try this. This is kind of a practice piece. This is the heat treated ash. So I figured I would heat treat a maple top and see what happens here. So you're just going to go back and forth and heat up the wood. All in all, this took probably about 15 minutes. And I go back and forth, trying not to keep the flame in one spot so I don't actually burn the wood. And I'm sure if I practice a little bit more, I could get this right. I'm using a thicker piece of maple here as well. This is a half inch thick piece. When I was testing, that little quarter inch piece actually split and cracked a little bit, kind of distorted as you're using it. So I know along the glue line, I'm gonna get some distortion and I wanted to use the thicker piece so it doesn't actually warp. So this has been glued on and I'm just gonna go back and forth and really heat this up. I saw this article in the January popular woodworking magazine by Seth Gold and figured it was time to test this. Been wanting to do this for years ever since I saw the Joe Perry top before I even knew what I was doing and just kind of wanted to play with this. You know, they char wood in oaken barrels for whiskey and wine and everything else and I figured this might be a really neat technique for guitars. So here's the technique that I thought worked pretty good is going slow and back and forth and heating up a section of the wood. The problem I had was if you stay too long in one spot the wood lights on fire. So I kind of went back and forth between this. This piece of wood has some mild figure right in the center. The outside of the wood there isn't a lot of figure, there's a lot of grain run out. This was a billet I bought off eBay that really turned out to be worse than I thought. So this back and forth technique kind of lit the piece on fire only a couple of times, kind of liked it. So a lot of back and forth. It was nice, it was a windy day, so anytime anything flamed up, all I had to do was wait a second, pull the flame away, and it cooled off. Definitely don't stay in one spot too long. And I also let the torch cool off a couple of times as I was doing this. Didn't want to get anything too hot. Like I said, it was a 20 degree day. I have nothing on uh, in terms of something that can get in the way. No sleeves. Um, you know, just being really safe here as you're doing this. So after about 15 minutes, everything's all charred up. It's looking really nice. What I do is I go back, look at a couple spots, and make sure that it's even. And then what I do is I take the guitar body over to my bandsaw, and I clamp it down in three spots, so that way there's no movement. And you can see where the top was glued. It separated a little bit. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take this downstairs after it's cooled, and I've got some 300 grit sandpaper. We're going to sand away some of the charring. So I don't want to do a full char, I want to kind of show the figure and the flames in this piece of wood. We're just going to sand back till we think it looks good. And this is where I, I know the brown is kind of going to match the brown from the ash. And so lots of back and forth here, just sanding till I think it looks good and it pulls off a lot of the uh, really heavy charring and spots that were set on fire. So I probably could have taken this to my drum sander. Um, but didn't. This is now then 400 grit and we're going to move up in grits here and really highlighting the figured piece. I think on a really heavily figured piece of wood if you could get it so you didn't burn it this would be a really cool effect. What's really cool about the half inch top is I'll show you something that I did later so I, I get this kind of faux binding. So here we'll fast forward the video again and I've got that seam in the middle that's starting to show a little bit as I sand down where the glue separated. The whole top didn't separate there. It only separated maybe, you know, less than an eighth on the way down. 
So we'll get this all sanded down nicely. You know, move the sander back and forth. And you can see some of the figures start to pop and where you've got the, the heavy flames really starting to show through. So we do have that little seam in the middle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get some walnut filler, this Timbermate walnut filler, and we're just gonna rub this into the crack. Just work it in so I don't get any gaps. Fast forward through here. Then we're just going to go back with some 200 grit sandpaper and just sand it off real lightly with my hand. Make sure I'm not scratching the top. Closes off that seam really nice. And then here I've actually got some 600 grit sandpaper and we're going back and, and cleaning this up. Now we're going to clean up the edge. So clean up the edges, make sure that I don't have scratches on the sides or anything. Go through with this 600 grit and clean everything up. We're going to put wipe on poly here. And what's nice about wipe on poly, it's a very white finish. So this is one coat of the wipe on poly. It actually really looks outstanding. The nice figures popping everywhere, seals up the wood really nicely. Really happy with the way this turned out. I'll pr probably put on two more coats. This is the back with the wipe on poly and the heat treated ash is beautiful with a finish. Really happy with the way this looked. Here's really, really beautiful figure. And then here's my probably second favorite piece now is I've got this nice faux binding that pops really pretty cool. So you've got the two browns and then the, that white cream in the middle of the maple top. And here's a picture of the figure and you can see some of the cracks that had happened from uh, the build itself. So that's Charna Guitar Top guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vid.